goodness, we said a small crowd of 50. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It is indeed my honor and pleasure today to introduce a man to you that I've known for a long, long time. <laughs> I've never introduced him as, I'm getting ready to introduce you to him right now, but I will tell you, if you heard this earlier, I met Rick Perry when I was about six years old. <laughs> And I cried the day I married him and said, Mama, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's all worked out pretty well. We have two beautiful children and a beautiful daughter-in-law. This is a man that stands by his words and his commitments, and there's not a harder man that there's not a man that will work harder <laughs> to win the presidency of the United yeah. States. Let me tell you what, it is an exciting day and, and uh, to be here in the Palmetto State with everybody, and, uh, our, our wonderful South Carolina friends. And, you know, as I look across and, and I get the feel, it, it, just, it just feels right and it feels good. Matter of fact, it feels like I'm home. So, uh, anyway, and let me tell you, we're going to be coming back. race is going to be about. You know, there may be some of us that's my age and even a little bit older, we may have to say, you know what, we're going to sacrifice a little bit for that generation. Because I'll promise you, our parents, that those members of the greatest generation as they're referred to, they made sacrifices for us so that we had a better life. And we don't want to be the first generation that leaves our young Americans to not have a better life than what we had. And let me tell you, I know how to make that happen. You free them from over-taxation, from over-regulation, from over-litigation, and government get out of the way and unloose the Americans to do the work that they can do. So let me tell you, thank you all for coming out here today. We're fixing to go up north and fire them up a little bit in New Hampshire, and then we will be back to South Carolina. God bless you.